How are you guys? Welcome to grade seven maths. I'm going to teach you how to find the highest common factor of two or more numbers. In this case, we want to only find the highest common factor of two numbers. And our numbers are 18 and 50. So to do that, we have to first express each number as a product of its prime factor using the ladder method. So I'm gonna start with 18. So we are going to divide 18 by the smallest possible prime factor that can not leave a remainder, and this is two. So two into 18, that's nine. So two can no longer enter into nine without leaving a remainder. So we move on to the next prime factor, which is three. So three into nine is three. And three can enter again into three and give us one. When we get one, we end there. Then we also find the factors of 50. So we are going to divide by the smallest, which is two. So two into 50 is 25. Uh, two can no longer enter into 25 without leaving a remainder. So we check for three. So three cannot enter without leaving a remainder, but five will be divisible. So five into 25, it's five and five into five, it's one. When we get one, we end there. So 18 as a product of its prime factors is equal to two times three times three. Then 50 as a product of its prime factors is equal to two times five times five from our left hand side factors. So finally, to get our highest common factor for 18 and 50, we look out for factors or numbers that are common in both expressions. So we can see that two is here and five and we have three. Uh, it means we no longer have anything in common. So what it means, the highest common factor of 18 and 50 is equal to, to two. Thank you guys. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson and understood how we find the highest common factor of two or more numbers.